Yesterday, OpenAI released its new model, GPT-40 Mini, which promises to revolutionize AI accessibility with its cost effectiveness. With a score of 82% on MMLU, it outperforms previous models while being over 60% cheaper than GPT-3.5 Turbo, making advanced AI capabilities more affordable and widely accessible. Let's see the GPT-40 Mini in action and explore how it handles article generation. For this test, we'll use one of the AI Autoblogger plugin's existing campaigns, like this one. As you can see on the settings page, this campaign is designed to generate 20 articles about English idioms. Nothing here. For each article, a relevant image will be generated using Dala 3. Here is the post category. Let's review the content generation settings for the idioms campaign. Each article should consist of six sections of text, each 4,000 tokens in size. Each section will have its own heading with an HTML H3 tag. In addition, a bulleted table of contents will be placed at the top of the article. All six text sections have fixed headings, defined in the Heading Structure Prompt field. This field contains the actual prompt, which consists of a general part that gives the AI model instructions about the main topic and style, as well as preferences for the HTML formatting of the generated articles. Next, there are specific instructions for creating each section of the article. The first section should discuss the etymology or historical context of the idiom. The second section will inform the reader about the idiom's equivalents in German, Spanish, and French, which will help us evaluate the AI model's support for multilingualism. The third section will provide usage examples. The fourth section will explore the cultural implications. The fifth section will allow us to evaluate the AI model's ability to generate comparison tables in HTML format. And the sixth section will explain other idioms or phrases with similar meanings in each language. Let's choose the GPT-40 AI model as a reference for subsequent comparison with the mini version. Save the campaign settings and generate a test article. Done. Let's take a look at the result. Keep in mind that OpenAI's latest and most advanced model, GPT-40, was used to generate this article. Carefully review the content of each text section to ensure that it meets the assignment given to the AI model as outlined in the prompt. Pay close attention to the comparison table and the contents of the last text section in the resulting article, as these will serve as references for later comparison with the results produced by the mini version of the model. Time to test the GPT-40 mini model. Let's select it and save the settings. Creating another post. And here's the article generated by the smaller model, OpenAI GPT-40 mini, using the same prompt. The first section contains an introduction. In the second section, we can see examples of the translation of the idiom discussed in the article into German, Spanish, and French. Next, there are examples of the idiom in real-life usage, such as, I've done everything on my bucket list except skydiving. Guess I'll have to take the plunge before I kick the bucket. The fourth section explains how the idiom reflects cultural values or historical events in each language. Next is the comparison table followed by a detailed explanation. The final section demonstrates the GPT-40 Mini's impressive handling of different languages and cultural nuances. It makes effective use of Chinese and Portuguese expressions, demonstrating the model's ability to generate detailed, culturally sensitive content. This highlights the model's versatility and depth in addressing complex topics such as mortality across different linguistic contexts. In this video, we tested the capabilities of the GPT-40 mini model for autoblogging tasks and compared it to the senior model, OpenAI's GPT-40.
As you can see, the quality of the article generated by the mini model is just as high as that of the senior model. However, there's an important detail to consider. The article generated by the GPT-40 model cost nine cents, while the article generated by the GPT-40 mini cost us less than one cent. So if there's no difference in quality, why pay more? Thanks for watching and have a nice day.